Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Jago back again with another video. And today, we're actually not playing GTA. We're playing The Sims 4. Now, a few months ago, I made my first Sims 4 video. It didn't do too well because I had like 6,000 less subscribers than I do now. So, if you guys do actually end up liking this, you know, dropping a like, uh, you know, commenting down below actually does really help uh, to let me know if you guys do enjoy this type of content because uh, I do like making variety content, not just a GTA modder. Alright, but anyways, in the first episode, I ended up making my, in real life, crackhead Uncle Ray, his uh, persona to Sims 4, and I added him to a family. I mean, you guys didn't really miss much, except for, um, he killed the pizza guy, he uh, had a kid, an alien kid, um, with his homosexual partner, Johnny Zest, not Test, if you guys know the TV show. Um, but yeah, if you guys are really interested in catching up, I'll leave the link of the first video in the description. And today we're going to be adding Chester, my GTA character. So, uh, yeah, that should be fun. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Oh, and, uh, before I completely forget, I added mods. So, like, we can do drugs, we can, uh, kill people. Um, it's pretty epic. Yeah, you, you guys will love it. <laughs> Uh, literally just where we left them, right here on the couch where they spent their last few minutes, um, in the last video months ago. So, uh, let's see what Uncle Ray's doing. Uncle Ray, yep, they are literally still watching TV. What are they even watching? Um, God knows, but, uh, yeah, they're vibing, they're having fun. No, uh, pizza guys. Oh, here, here's a pizza guy. <laughs> uh, man. He's not making pizzas anymore, that's for sure. All right, I'll be honest. I do not know how to add a um, person um, to the family. So what we can do, actually, is I believe we can use the power of mods and just take some random person off the street and make them part of our family. Let's uh, let's go visit this guy. What is his name? Eric Lewis. Um, he looks like a good Chester. Let's haggle him, for sure. You have a hard bargain. Tell me what you want. I'll give you 25% off this table. What table? What table are you buying, you freak? And we're adopting you. Where did he go? Um, why did that happen? There we go. Hey, Eric. Eric. Okay. Alright, so Uncle Ray and Eric here are gonna be, um, friends now. So I think I should be able to go over here, friendly, and ask to join household. Perfect. There we go. Um, moving in together. Nice. Okay. Um, I'll be honest, though. Um... Oh, no, Kengo, the pizza guy, he's got to stay with us. That was a pizza guy that we killed in the first episode. So I was going to say we could give him up because we only have, like, a couch and one bed. Not, not too much space, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, Eric, welcome to the family, or should I say Chester, because you will be now Chester. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Uncle Ray is uh, actually a maniac. Neither friend nor foe, just an average relationship. That relationship was not average. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, we had a slight problem within the creation of Uncle Chester. He uh, randomly deleted, so we are on the hunt to find a new Uncle Chester. I think the perfect place to find an Uncle Chester it would definitely be... I think, he would, I think he would hang out at the bar. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, Chester's been to the strip club here and there in GTA, so... Um, I think this is a perfect place for Uncle Ray to search for the Uncle Chester. There's a young boy. I mean, <laughs> I mean we could kidnap this child. <laughs> we could age him up and kidnap him. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, that's a that's definitely an Uncle Ray type of thing, is to, is to kidnap a child. But we're going to set him to a young adult real quick. Oh, okay. Um, there we go. Alrighty. Well, uh, we're now going to kidnap him. Uh, let's do it. No, not a rude introduction. Damn it, Uncle Ray. Uh, let's do friendly introduction. Bam. All right, Uncle Ray. Let's see what you got. Where? Did, what? Why is he running away? No, 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 no. Pause. Pause. All right. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Set active friendly. Uh, true friends. There we go. Now they are friends. And what Uncle Ray should be able to do is... Asked to join household. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, so... Wait, he, he, did he deny me? Are you... Are you serious? What the hell, man? Okay, I thought we were friends. Oh, but hey, look, there's another kid. Moving in together. Bingo. Don't worry, goth family. It is just 
Um, it's, ju it's just your one kid. He he's now he's not a goth anymore. Okay, he is now a. Uh, don't don't worry about what that says. That's 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 meaningless. He is now an uncle, an uncle Chester. Alrighty, let's go let's go and modify him now. All right, I guess we can just make him the party animal. There's no nothing really. I want I want to make him like the you know the dumb character because he's gotten banned in GTA Online. I mean, who does that, right? All right, so we're gonna have to chase or change his clothes to the tracksuit. All right, so we got kind of the tracksuit. I couldn't find the same one I found earlier, but you know, it's it's kind of similar. It's kind of the same thing. And then we need to get him some sweatpants. I think these will do well. Uh, yeah. All right. I think I think that's Uncle Chester. We actually no wait. Almost forgot about the hair. Okay, so this this right here is Uncle Chester. Uncle Chester's actually got some really big ears. But uh yeah, this is Uncle Chester. Welcome to the to the family, man. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, Uncle Ray cinematic universe. All right, so Uncle Ray and Uncle Chester are going to officially become partners in crime and pretty much join each other's gang. I don't really know how this works. I've only used this mod a couple times. All right. Bam. With serial killers and we'll now cheer their mischief actions. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so for example, if Uncle Ray were to walk up to this woman and uh, slap her, what would happen if I just uh, slapped this random woman here in the bar? Would he cheer it on? What is he doing? Where's Chester? All right, so Chester's over there at the bar. Uh, Uncle Ray, you gonna slap her yet? All right, please shut your mouth. All right, there we go. I slapped her. Oh, oh, oh shit. Um. Everyone, <laughs> Chester's just back here laughing. <laughs> he loves it. He just wants to be part of the, uh, he just wants to be a good partner in crime. All right, um, oh, she, she's completely knocked out. Oh, shit. Did I, okay. Wow. Oh, and he's taking a picture of her. Okay. Guess he's really taking the phrase, uh, take a picture to last longer to full effect. What a, oh, God, that's a celebrity, too. Jesus Christ, what did I do? Okay, Uncle Ray is... Um, done something pretty bad here, but that's okay because uh, we can make all those problems go away Beat up this uh, bartender right here. I guess there's no cash register around so I mean, I guess we'd be beating her up for fun Which I guess I could stop But okay, I didn't realize what this would actually end up doing Where's Uncle Ray? Uncle Ray, where'd you go? Okay, he's just chilling watching the TV. He doesn't even care what's happening on right here in the background. Home sweet home, Uncle Ray is finally uh, able to see his boyfriend Johnny Zest and his son, uh, Kengo the Pizza Guy. <clears throat> I guess Chester should meet uh, Johnny for the first time, so let's uh, discuss their favorite authors, I guess, like some weirdo. All right, well, it wouldn't be a proper Sims episode if we didn't end up killing someone. So let's hire a service as Uncle Ray is over here on the shitter. Not a pizza delivery. Maybe let's uh, let's get a butler. Let's uh, get ourselves and kill off a butler, shall we? No, Uncle Ray, that's not. That's literally the opposite of what you should be doing. You just hired a butler. Oh, here here's our butler. Okay, Sarah Pepper. Alrighty. Alrighty, come on in, start cleaning. First of all, we will uh, do something non-deadly. We'll snatch her weave. Okay, what what will what will this do? Oh god, now she's bald. Oh god, Uncle Ray definitely meant to do that. What? Okay, I guess she just got completely humiliated. Yep, and the <laughs> of course the family loved that. Oh nope, never mind. No, they really didn't. Oh, but Chester loved it. <laughs> That's good though. That's all we really care about. Chester is the only person that matters to Uncle Ray now. All right, so now we have a bald butler, and she's pissed off, and she's going to bed. Alrighty. Um, there's only one bed in here in the whole place, so I guess that's kind of unacceptable. If you wouldn't mind getting the feck out of my bed, my face is a mess. I don't. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? Okay, it's fine. Don't overreact. Oh god, emotional control decreases. Oh Jesus. Okay, he's gonna throw a temper tantrum and freaking shoot lasers out of his eyes. But oh no, never mind. It looks like he's vibing now. 
All right, we got to get the butler out of bed. So we're going to go wake her up his uncle right here. No, no one wants to hang out with you. We're not part of your family anymore. All right, so I guess we... Oh, God, she's getting really comfortable. Um, accused of spying. I mean, technically, she shouldn't be here. I mean... Oh, no, no, never mind. She's a butler again. So I'm going to accuse her of spying. Oh, oh God. Yep, she, she definitely looks upset. Here's some conspiracy theories. Is this making you uncomfortable? Alrighty, Uncle Ray is walking in on the scene. And she just magically died. Sarah. Oh, yep. Okay, Sarah Pepper now despises Uncle Ray. Hopefully no one saw that. Okay, it looks like we're good. I mean, Chester's okay with it. Alrighty. Well, well, well. We're gonna have to mop up that blood. And you, Uncle Ray, <laughs> are gonna have to take a shower. Alright, and of course, we gotta put the urn... With the collection of dead people now, uh, which is two, Kenjo the pizza guy, and now Sarah the butler. R.I.P. Oh god, another butler's here. Oh shit. Oh god. Hopefully she's, <laughs> hopefully she didn't know Sarah, um, wasn't close to her, cause she's gonna start cleaning and she's gonna find the ashes of Sarah Pepper in her hands. Actually, what I actually really want to do here is move houses. All right, so we'll just add a couple zeros, and uh, bam, now we have a million simoleons. Bingo bongo. All right, well, we've spent a lot of money, but um, okay, so this is the this is the apartment. It's actually really nice, and we have an upstairs. Wow. Okay, I didn't actually think I realized how nice this place was. And look at that. Is that a... Oh my god, I, that's a toilet? What the hell is that? Converse. Oh god. Friendly chit-chat with a toilet? Okay, this game just went from 0 to 100 real quick. So, feckin' Uncle Ray is having some talk with a toilet. It is actually talking back to me. It told me to shush. Well, listen here. It is the talking John. You listen here, fucker, okay? You're not gonna tell me to shush. Alrighty, let's prank the toilet. I don't know if that'll actually prank the toilet or prank someone else, okay? Um, so now the... Okay, I guess we did something. Now purple smoke is coming from it. Um, okay, hopefully that's like poisonous gas or something. Uncle Ray's still covered in blood. No big deal, though. So we're gonna go visit our neighbors. Um, I guess we can bring Uncle Chester. Sure, sure. Alright, uh, Uncle Ray's having a schizophrenic attack, so that's okay. No big deal. Oh, and we're in. Okay, come on in. Alright, hello. I am the new neighbor, Uncle Ray. This is my boyfriend, Johnny Zest. Our alien son is not here. I don't know where... Uh, I don't know where Uncle Chester went. I don't even know where these people are. Are they not home? Did I just get let in? Oh, there they are. Oh, they're upstairs. Okay, I didn't see stairs. Maybe because there are no stairs. It's just invisible. There, there they are. Okay, okay. Alright, so Uncle Ray is making himself at home. Oh, he cleaned up, of course. He cleaned up the blood. Alright, um, Uncle Chester, you can make, uh, you can make some cake, I guess. Who's this lady? Oh, is this your is this your wife? Oh, well, I hope it is, cause if not, we just caught you with the uh, mistress. All right, Uncle Ray, um, you can start cooking something, I guess. Let's uh, let's cook a let's cook a grand meal, turkey dinner. Sounds lovely. Let's have a turkey dinner, sure thing. Make yourself at home, start cooking. All right, um, oh, this is inappropriate. What is inappropriate? I'm I'm cooking you. I'm baking you a cake. Wait a second, this isn't your graduation party. Okay, so, uh, she's really upset at Chester. Um, I don't see what the big deal is, lady. Okay, it's two in the morning, I come over and I cook you some cake? Like, I bake you a cake while your husband here is eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something like that? Alright, whatever, lady. Freaking weirdo. Cake. But I guess what I could do is use her treadmill, run with chest out together? What the fuck does that mean? Together? Who would I do this together with? Oh, okay, so Chester will just watch me do it. That's that's weird. Okay. All right, well, um, I guess I'll just take a mud bath. Might as well. All right, you know what, Uncle Ray, enough on the treadmill. You look great. You know, you don't need any more cardio. All right, so now I'm just taking a mud bath. Can I also talk to their John, too? Oh, I could prank it. Sure, why not? I guess I'll prank it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, no way. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Oh my god! So Uncle Ray is just wearing a towel, <laughs> just joining in on the conversation. Here, let's let's vibe to the speakers. Let's uh, let's listen to the pop. 
Oh my god, look. <laughs> and they just they just don't care. Wait, so you took a mud bath upstairs in my bathroom, and now you're just lurking around with just a towel on? He's just vibing to the music. This isn't inappropriate, but baking you guys a cake is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uncle Ray, I, I'm... <laughs> this is so funny. He's just walking around in a towel. He's identified as a guppy? Has identified the guppy. Okay. I thought, as a guppy, I was like, well, what are you talking about, man? Wait, how did he identify a guppy? I thought there was like a fish tank or something. There's like nothing here. What is the guppy? I, I'm so confused. Taking a mud bath, sleeping in their own bed, pranking their toilet is, is all okay. It's all okay. But making a freaking cake is... is, is that's just where... They, they cross the line. Oh, Johnny's busting some moves. He is busting some moves in very, very fast motion. Oh, now Uncle Ray's wearing clothes. Okay. Yeah, now you like clothes all of a sudden. Well, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. While wow, Kenjo, the pizza guy, Kengo, the pizza guy, is at, war at school, sorry. Uh, Chester, uh, Johnny, and Uncle Ray are vibing here. Uh, next to speakers. I guess this is where we're gonna end today's video. Hopefully guys you did enjoy the video Please remember to drop a like subscribe uh, if you guys do end up liking this kind of variety content other than GTA all the time You know always drop me a like and comment uh, What you liked about it and what I what else I could do with the Sims 4 or other games But like I said in the last video uh, the my 10k special is gonna be a setup video and a Q&A um, this is going to be the last time I remind you guys. I'm going to make a post about the questions you, I, you will ask me guy, ask in the Q&A. Sorry, I just had a stroke there. So uh, don't ask questions quite yet. But in the post I will make as I hit 10K um, will be the Q&A questions. So just look out for a post asking. I'll say, hey, guys, you know, send in your questions now. And that will be um, where you'll put your questions. But, uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for all the support lately. And, uh, yep, yeah, road to 10K. See you guys in the next one. Peace.